Did you know that Dive Studios has a Discord server? Join now and meet new friends, submit questions to the podcast, and get exclusive access to events and giveaways. Go to bit.ly backslash join dive discord to join. We will be lurking in the best way possible. Okay, so hi guys. Hi. This is Get Real, where we get real with our thoughts on all things concerning life. We're your hosts, Peach One, Ashley, and Pneel of B2B. Yes. So, clap, clap, clap. (laughs) And we have a very, very, very special guest today. But before we introduce them, make sure to follow and review the podcast on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. And if you hate ads, consider becoming a member of the Dive Studios Patreon where you can access ad-free videos or episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a very special guest. He is the leader of a very, very popular and famous hip-hop trio in Korea. He's yes. also a husband. He's also a father. Mm-hmm. He's also a son. Okay. And he… <laughs> uh, he used to be a Dive Studio fam. Right? Yes. Tablo! Woo! Hello! Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Uh, I'm… Doing much better after that intro. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I love how you pointed out that I'm a son, a son. at right. the very end, <laughs> which is sort of like a prerequisite for being everything else. Oh, uh, that's true. Right, that's I have true. to be born. Right, right so, that's true. But uh, yeah, I, I'm a dad. Mm. <laughs> I am a dad. How's your family? How's Haru? Haru's… Well, she's 11 now. So… Whoa. She's like listening to music, watching YouTube. Playing games. What kind of music? She listens to… Uh, she used to really be into Billie Eilish. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, but now she's sort of into other things. Like? Uh, just a lot of American music. Also K-pop. Mm. Uh, she started making like remixes with my computer. Oh, whoa. So I can never like really sit down and make songs anymore. Oh, she's always she's on always She's on actually it. using the legit programs? Yeah, she used Ableton Live to uh, remix Espa's Next Level. What? But with… Um, have you guys seen that meme of like… I think it's like a prairie dog screaming. Have you seen that before? Yes. Oh, I think so. With the, the husky? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The husky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> she, she downloaded the audio from that. Uh-huh. And she mixed it into next level so that it comes out like every two bars. <laughs> I'm on the <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> and somehow it works. Wow. Really? So she's like, she's like really into music. She's she wow. just started playing Minecraft. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, school is like the last thing on her <laughs> on mind, mind? Okay. but she's doing it. Yeah. Damn. Wow. Oh so you think she's gonna follow your steps into music then? Probably. Uh, I hope not. Oh, okay. <laughs> she says she won't. Like she wants to like uh, do art. She wants to design games oh, okay, and do okay. like graphic art. Nice. So hopefully she'll do that. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Because mus- one musician is enough for one family. As I'm <laughs> sure you guys know. Yeah, I think so. Imagine yeah. like more than one person being a musician. Oh man. That's crazy. Yeah, headache. <laughs> you just imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you know why you're here? No idea. I well, actually uh, was sent uh, the gist of what we we're going to talk about. Right, right. But I read up to um, the hosts' names. Right. And I saw PH1 and I was like, PH1 wasn't right in this program. <laughs> yes. So I was like, PH1's doing it now? <laughs> and that's where I stopped. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Making me no- more nervous. No, because I, I know that I'm in secure hands with you guys. Okay. So, okay. Oh, good wrap up. <laughs> nice. Wrap oh, up. we heard. We <laughs> heard you have some new stuff, exciting stuff coming out. Yeah, uh, a new song coming out called Face ID. Face ID. Yeah, with some Ooh. interesting visuals. Like the music video oh, is okay. pretty crazy. Um, so that and we have uh, finally 
a face to face concert. Wow. Ooh, yes, uh, yes. In That's Seoul big. in December. In December, okay. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be the first time not performing for a camera. <laughs> right, 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 right. In right, like right. years. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we also announced the US tour, like the North American tour. Oh, nice. Which was pushed, like delayed for years yeah. because of, yeah. you know, what? Oh, were you supposed to do it before Corona happened? And then yeah, before of... Corona happened, like we were supposed to, we were announced for Coachella. That oh. got canceled. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We are still not able to cancel our Airbnb from that. What? 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 So. <laughs> I don't know if I can disclose it, but like, who cares? Uh, <laughs> so we got like this big house to stay at. Right, right. When we go to perform there. Right. And um, obviously Coachella got canceled. Uh-huh. So we delayed it. And then Coachella was maybe happening again in October. And then oh, it got yeah, canceled yeah. again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So once we asked for like a refund, uh, the, the owners were like, no, but you can like delay it forever. Oh, and I'm like, what if, what if we don't get invited back to Coachella? Right, right. Like, what do we do then? And, and they just want to deal it, deal with it then. So uh-huh. we've had this like Airbnb rental for like a year and a half. <laughs> oh my god! And I'm like hell bent on using it. So Dang. Uh, maybe on this US tour um, in March, like we'll, you know, stop by and yeah. just stay a night or something. Wow. Stay one night, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Mm. Well, Tablo has a reputation of being very intelligent. Do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> that was an expression of agreement. Like, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, it's a. I, I think that that word has become sort of like sort of problematic for me. Mm. Mm. You know, because. Uh, it's a, it's a good trait to have, right? Intelligence. Right, 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 like right, right. You, you want to be intelligent. Of course. You want to be surrounded by intelligent people. Um, but as some of you guys may know, like the things that I went through right. uh, with the whole Tajinyo thing mm-hmm. uh, was about my intelligence in a mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. So that word uh, has a different weight for me now. Right. Kind Where like I, I'm sort of like turned off by it if right. it comes up. Damn. Um, and because, you know, like intelligent people don't act intelligent, right? Mm. You know what I mean? Like some do, but some don't. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? We're all yeah, intelligent people. But, agree. <laughs> but I like to just joke around and I like to like act not intelligent. Yeah. So mm. um, I'm more comfortable like with that word not coming up. Mm. Okay. All right, that's so, a wrap for today's show. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, I noticed that's episode a wrap for 14 today, okay, guys? Um, is intelligence <laughs> with Tableau. Uh, uh, I'm really sorry. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, thank on, you for me, uh, watching this week's episode. I just shat on all your plans for today. <laughs> Good job, Diane. Good job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I mean… But well, we more, can talk about it. Right. Uh, on okay, a more okay. lighter note <laughs> yeah. though. Are you sure? <laughs> intelligent. Okay. So the term chanje, which means genius in Korea, mm. it, it gets thrown a lot in Korea especially. So um, what do you guys think about being… Well, what do you guys think about calling people genius? Like for this and that. Like for example, in Korea, they even have orgul chanje. Oh yeah. Uh, you know what that means? Yeah, that's like, crazy. I mean, but that's just like… Orgul chanje means face genius. What does that mean? <laughs> like… It means you're facially a genius. <laughs> <laughs> or like… Oh yeah. That, I don't know. Yori chanje. Or yori chanje. chanje. Everybody's like… Face chanje is like… <laughs> damn, right? Because like… <laughs> no matter how hard some people try… <laughs> <laughs> you can't… <laughs> like, just, no, no, they, I mean, they I guess could you, try. you could try. Invest with, money. You know, with a knife. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> true. You can try. Yeah. You can try. The doctor will have to try a little harder than yeah, you. Yeah. But he'll, he'll have to try really yeah. hard. But um, you can try, I guess. You'll have to just try to earn the money for it. But yeah. um, right. So okay, then uh, okay, let's delve deeper a little bit. Okay. Let me throw a philosophical question on you. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is genius nature or nurture? Like being genius. Right. Okay. Hmm. Nature? Uh, yeah, I, I I would say uh nature first. Okay. But the execution of genius is nurture. Mm. Mm. Um 
like I do agree that the word chanje, like genius, is thrown around like way too easily. Right, right, right. right? Yeah. Like you get straight A's, you're a genius. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you play the violin well. Or the yeah. clarinet, well, you're a genius, which would make 99% of Asians. Right. Geniuses. Exactly. All, all Asians. We're geniuses, all geniuses, right? Because you either geniuses. played the violin or the clarinet. Yeah. So, um, did, you, did you play any instruments? Piano. That's, that's, very, that's the genius. other… Genius. That's very that's, Asian That's too. super genius. Yeah. <laughs> what instruments did you guys play? I played the guitar. Yeah, piano. Piano, piano genius. Guitar. You're <laughs> sort of like the rebel kid. <laughs> <laughs> Parents don't talk about you, <laughs> right? Yeah, they didn't talk about me until I came to Korea and debuted, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I would kidding, say execution of the genius that you're born with yeah. has to come from nurture. Mm. Do you think, for me, listening to what Tabo was saying, I feel like genius almost, almost 98% translates to being super creative and imagine like imaginative and visionary at at whatever you're doing. So do you think let's say okay, Harry scenario. You there's okay. there's a person Finally. who is just super good at something like violin or something super technical, mm -hmm. but he's not or she's not creative. Like she doesn't know how to like compose whatever like or she, she's not she doesn't have that trait but she's super good at like you know ripping the strings like you know is she a genius then? she's like number one in, in the world though like oh, her, her skills only I mean, that instrument though or like is she musically like intelligent like can she play other instruments or just that one well in show. this scenario she's only good at the violin but did she start like ripping the violin when she was like four four years old because <laughs> that's pretty genius or did it take like years of practice to become that skillful like is she 70 is it and now, now she <laughs> like, she recently got amazing <laughs> because then she's just really uh, like a, a real hard worker like, or yeah. dedicated yeah. Person. Yeah. Oh, okay. like, but if, yeah. if if she's like four, I'm sure if she didn't play violin and she did something else, right. she would have been just as good. Well, she's like maybe, okay, 15, 16. Ah, that's like eh, man. That's like eh, man. I don't know. Uh, but I feel like you need that trait of being super creative. Like for you to be called genius. Yeah. Called genius. I, I would say like going on that like violin, like, you know, example. Um, I think if that person was playing at a level where the way they were playing, yeah, like was like a like a very like innovative mm. method of playing, yeah, um, sort of like what Jimi Hendrix did with the guitar, right, mm -hmm. right, 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 right. Like everybody played the same guitar, yeah, mm. but the way Jimi Hendrix played mm. with that exact same. You know, yeah, guitar standard yeah. Uh -huh. uh, was what made him a genius. So maybe like the violinist that you're talking about, like the way you just did it, yeah, right, <laughs> right, right. It looked pretty yeah. genius to me because <laughs> like, yeah. so, holy <laughs> sh she's only using one hand. <laughs> Damn, oh, shoot. how's she playing it? How's the sound coming out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, that's crazy. I mean, I I I would definitely like when I. Once I get married and have children, I would definitely want my children to be like genius yeah. or have the traits or have the potential to be genius. But is that something that I can kind of work towards? Like making a baby or making a child that's intelligent. T tell us, Tablo, what's the tip here? Uh, what? I feel like Haru, I feel like because so watching smart. watching, you know, the show with yeah. Haru when she was growing up, I was like, dang, she's very different. Mm -hmm. She's just different. And I feel like that's part of being genius. Uh, but I wouldn't like… She's not what you would call like… Like academic genius. <laughs> right. But genius doesn't yeah. necessarily mean yeah, academic. I'm just just okay, clearing yeah. that off the table. Because like… <laughs> she's not really into school. Yeah. But… Uh, I mean there are… I, the thing is she's a child, right? Yeah. And… I think all children display genius tendencies. Right. Like literally all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but it's sort of like 
chiseled out of them. Suppressed. Mm. Yeah, as, as uh, the years go on. Mm. Mm. And I think it's like less what you do with your kid or the way you nurture your kid. But it's more like what you don't do. To suppress that or to mm. Um, mm. chisel that away. Mm. Like I, I think parents do too much. Mm. Yeah. To make their kid like… What they consider intelligent. Oh, or right, what they right, consider right. like perfect or genius or whatever. Right, right? Right, right. They're born… You know you gotta admit all kids are born perfect. Right? That's true. In their own way. Yeah. And you gotta work as a parent to preserve that. And usually that involves you like… You know doing less. Mm. Like just chill out and like… You know, stop interfering with the natural process. Mm. Let the that's baby very do what like, the baby do best. <laughs> that that's that's a big irony in yeah. that, you know, because parents want their children to be geniuses or become intelligent and mm. be good at everything. And because they want that, they like put so much pressure on them. And in trying to make them geniuses, they're taking away their genius traits or possibilities or potentials. Exactly. Like, let me give. Uh, PH1 as the example. <clears throat> so when I first met PH1, mm. this was a long time ago. I met him at a at a New York show that Epic I did. Mm, okay, okay. Because I wanted to meet him, I invited uh-huh. him. Uh, I listened to his music on like SoundCloud, I think. And it was so good that uh, I sort of wanted to, you know, bring him into the music scene. Mm. And at the time, he was working as a programmer. Right, right. Oh, right, right. Right? right. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure… But I mean, we we don't know that much about programming. So we're yeah, like, you have to be a genius to be a programmer. <laughs> right? That's the typical way of thinking yeah, about yeah. it. And, um, but ironically, I'm sure that it's when you decided to do music. Right, right. And you are PH1 and not Harry, mm. the programmer, <laughs> right. that you've been called a genius more. Mm, that's true. Right? Because yeah. you are being allowed to be you. And to do you mm. a lot more than when you were programming. Right. Right? Yeah. So I, I think even as adults, it's like you have to let yourself kind of, you know, be free. Mm. And you have to stop putting all these weights on yourself um, to to be a genius in society or to be successful right, in society. Right, right. And once you do that, once you let go a little bit, ironically, that's when people start recognizing your genius. Right? So… Maybe maybe that's you know. So you're saying genius it's and freedom. yourself are two synonyms. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not intelligent oh, enough yeah. to understand what this guy's talking about right hey, there's, now. There's I and you and us in genius. G-E. Uh, uh, and I. And I, I, I and you, you and us. us. There's genius. also I you. <laughs> <laughs> I you is genius. I you is genius. You can tell, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to fan submission. Here's okay. what one listener had to say about intelligence. Submission one. Hey, dive and get real fam. I am currently in my second year of college and taking up engineering. Since kindergarten until 12th grade, I've always been a part of the honors list. And so everybody labels me, labels me as smart, intelligent, or gifted. Naturally, it made me happy and also made me strive for academic validation even more. Then the pandemic came and online classes became the new norm. At first, I was really motivated to study, but then I just kept getting scores in some activities that are lower than I expected. And I really didn't like it. Honestly, nobody was pressuring me, but not even my family. But I slowly stopped studying hard and just submitted activities without much effort. Because for me, nothing changes even if I study study hard. So my question is, did I really lose my so-called intelligence or was I never intelligent in the first place and just a hard worker? Stay safe, fam. Sending so much love all the way from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Damn. These are some heavy thoughts. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like they might have just been a bookworm. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, <man>. that's savage! <laughs> oh, this is this is how we do it here. Get real, huh? What do you, what do you think, yeah, Ashley? We get real. <laughs> we keep it real. 
Oh my gosh. Ashley, I'm... I think you should answer this question. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> talk at yeah, all. I know. Talk. Honestly, I'm like super starstruck right now. So I'm like <laughs> very <laughs> nervous. Like I'm just like sitting next to Tavla. No, don't don't be like that. Just please uh, answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be like that. <laughs> don't, don't be like that. <laughs> he, he literally, don't be like don't, that. Don't be like that. <laughs> We're right behind you. Well, you gotta you. make it awkward. Don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, I can relate to this listener because I um, I gr- immigrated to the States when I was in fourth grade. And mm-hmm. because my parents were immigrants, I always felt like I couldn't let them down. Mm-hmm. And being the older sister, I always felt like I had to work hard um, and make my parents happy. And when they were the happiest was when I got good grades, right? So… Um, up until high school, I mean, up until college, I did well in school, but only because I worked hard. And then I worked really hard. I studied really hard. And then when I was in senior year of col- uh, of high school, and then I took BC calculus class like everybody else. And then I realized when I was in that class, wow, I'm not smart. Like I just got here because <laughs> of my hard work, but I was failing so hard. And then to see everybody just get the class and get what the teacher was saying. And I just felt like, why did I do this to myself? Like I don't Like this isn't for me. Like I'm not at this level. I only got here because I studied really hard. And then I was like, that's when I was like, oh wow, I'm not intelligent. But it's okay. <laughs> what the hell? It's okay if you're not yeah, intelligent no. because I feel like there are so many people who are intelligent, but they don't put in the work. And that like results in mediocre, mediocre stuff. And then there are people who are not as intelligent, but if they put in that much work and passion, I feel like you can succeed just as much as a intelligent person. So you're, you're talking about academic intelligence specifically, kind of. No, I think in all aspects. But for me, I'm I'm talking about academic what intelligence you, what do you right mean? here. In all aspects, you were like, I'm not intelligent. Oh no, no, oh, for me, for me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just academic. Hey, don't be like that. <laughs> hey, don't be like that. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't be like that. No, academic. Academics. I mean, yeah. like, but those people who are in calculus, mm-hmm. who were like. Killing it yeah. in calculus. Like, how is that working out for them? I don't know. I don't keep in contact. Okay. But how, like, how, how often do you use calculus on a daily basis? I know, exactly. I'm sure they're not making bank off of calculus. <laughs> yeah, right. Right? So, right. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think it matters. Like, I hated calculus. Who loves calculus? I don't think Nobody. I even took calculus. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I did either. Is, <laughs> <laughs> is, is like what you just mentioned, the, the two letters before the calculus? Mm-hmm. The what? BC calculus? Is that what like is that? above AB calculus? AP yeah. calculus? A- a- P- a- you mean AP cal- B- calculus? Is it AB and B. What is AP calculus? I think that's what I thought. Oh, isn't oh, that college? Is, uh, college level. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, maybe I didn't. No. No, I, 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 <laughs> I took I took AP some too. calculus. AP calculus. You must have done well though because you were a programmer, I, yeah, I, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I, I did well in high school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but… I, yeah, I don't know. Were yeah. you guys um ever called gifted at a young age? At something, whatever it was. Don't all parents call their yeah. kids gifted? At, oh, like not all. Point? No, no, not all. Yeah, not all. Oh, really? But <laughs> I, I think a lot of Asian parents do. I, I don't mean to stereotype mm. us. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I think a lot of uh, like… Oh, is that an Asian thing? As far as I know, because I was Asian. Yeah. Right, I, think, right. I think a lot of Asian… I've seen a lot of Asian parents call their kids gifted. Yeah. For mine example, included. Mine. But where like they're… St- their uh, reason for doing that is is so wide ranging that it can't be true. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Mm. What about oh, you, Panya? I don't remember anything. <laughs> 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 I don't know if my parents ever called me a genius. Um, well, not necessarily genius, yeah. but like gifted or he's really talented gifted. at. Yeah. I mean, I was kind of just outside playing all the time, so I don't know if. But like when you first started like dancing and stuff like this? Oh, I, mean, I don't think they saw me dancing until like I was actually on stage. <laughs> and they really? didn't think that was gifted? Oh, I'm sure they thought that was gifted. <laughs> but, I don't know. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in Korea, I feel like the parents all want geniuses as kids, of course. Of course. And sometimes… the. Um, it's like kind of ridiculous because they'll have a baby and the baby will like do something by accident, like wink by accident, and then they'll be like, "Oh my god, my yeah. child's a genius! Oh my god, they're <laughs> so <laughs> good." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, relax. And even when even when they're like a child, 
they're always like, oh, you're such a genius. But I feel like that's really bad yeah, for their… Yeah, that's pretty bad. Right? Yeah. Their mentality. And Especially only only when they do something good. They're like, oh, that's hot stuff, whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's like… When they fail at something, they feel very bad. The yeah, children. They're, yeah, they're like scared. Yeah, yeah. They let their parents down or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When that shouldn't be like your primary concern mm-hmm. as a human being. Right? Yeah. Right, right, right. So… Yeah. So I mean this kind of relates to our uh, listener. Do you feel like you need to see good results or lots of positive feedback from others in order to stay motivated? Uh, I uh-huh. mean… What do you guys think as, as entertainers? Do you, do you need… Um, like constant positive feedback to like the Instagram likes and like… I, I feel like more than like constant feedback. I think people maybe like you look up to. Or like you think like you consider like you know like your like close group of friends or something. I think like some some like good feedback from them sometimes might motivate you more than like just like likes on Instagram or like you know. Because I feel like for fans, it's like no matter what you release, they're going to… Even if it was like complete sh- <laughs> I think if it was com- complete… <laughs> like, as long as it's like mediocre. <laughs> like if it's, if it's horrible, I, I don't know man. I like you to be. But if you guys release <laughs> like complete something sh- that's… Sh- like that we all agree on, <laughs> including yourselves, yeah. that okay, it's okay. complete sh- I'll be like, you know. If it's like, as long as it's like mediocre, I feel like fans will be like, you know, they're like, oh, like this is good, you know, because like they're your fans and they don't want to see you like kind of like kijuko. Oh, yeah, yeah. Discouraged. Mm. Yeah, they don't want to see like discouraged and stuff. So then sometimes I'm like, is this like real feedback or like, are they like, you know, it's like kunkakshi, no, like blinded by love. Love. (laughs) By desire. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I'm like… Hot passion. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but sometimes I think that I'm like, I don't know if their feedback is like genuine or like… So then like sometimes I feel like people like you look up to like… Or um, like your close friends. Mm. Because I'm sure they'll be like… Actually, I don't know. They might kind of sugarcoat it too maybe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They might just say what you want to hear. But yeah, yeah, yeah. on the flip side, the negative stuff… Yeah. Should also, you should also feel that way about the negative stuff. Yeah. Too, yeah, right? yeah. Because, I feel like that's motivating too. Because like… Why do you give so much uh, power to like the negative comments… When the positive comments… You just feel like it's you know like… Tangyeonne or something. Right? Right, 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 right. So I think like… I don't know. I think you're, the way you're thinking about it is good. Like be you know skeptic be a skeptic about the good comments, but also like you know also be a skeptic about the bad comments too yeah. like what what do they know right right so, right 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 yeah. so are you saying that it's completely look this is an extreme case mm-hmm. you make an art right you make an art whatever like song whatever. Nobody likes it, but only you like it, then that's okay. Like just for yourself <sighs> satisfaction, that's enough for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> what no. is art if nobody likes my creation? Like, you know, where's, you know, w- what's the point of making an art if only I love it, but everyone else is like, oh, that's, I don't like it. Like, I hate it. Well, yeah. Or or just no interest. Whatever. Mm-hmm. But only yourself is satis- satisfied with the product. Is that then good enough a reason for you to just be motivated? But that's or, a good point. You know, like uh, about this submission, right? Because, because you do care about… Right, right. Like the feedback from the people you care about. Right. Right? Like your fans or mm. um, like music listeners yeah. or maybe critics that you may… Um, Mm. You you may think, you know, deserve some mm-hmm. attention. But the problem with uh, a lot of kids and also the person who sent the submission is like… The people you care about most are your parents, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. So that's why you give so much weight to their opinion. The thing is, your parents were born like way back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> True. Right? They are not living in 2021. Right, right, right. That's I mean, they're here physically, but a lot of parents, they left their minds back in like, you know, 1990, 1980. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they, they left it back there. So, 
the problem with that is their idea of success in 2021 just doesn't work. Right. Mm. There's… The world has like completely changed. Yeah. And they can't comprehend the world. So for them to like, you know, make you think that their way of doing things is what leads to success. Mm. just makes no sense. And schools, I mean, haven't changed. Literally, we're looking at what she's studying. We can see her uh, like <clears throat> report card or her syllabus. Yeah. And I guarantee you, it'll be the same as when I went to high school. Right, right, It'll be right. the same as when you guys went to high school because right. it hasn't changed since like 1800. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like, and how does that work in 2021 when we're like living in like metaverses and stuff, <laughs> right? Like when we are creating things like beyond belief. Yeah. Like none of this calculus, come on. So, okay, so okay, so Going speak. Back to no, speak. <laughs> let me just let me just say it for everyone out there. If you love it, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you love it, great. No, speaking of um, pa- parenting, you said that our parents were a total different generation. They don't understand what's going on in 2020. I, I agree. I agree. They don't understand what's going on right now. But you're a father yourself. And let's say Haru becomes 20 or something. Uh, and the, the world got, world's gotten even crazier than yeah. now. And one day she's like, Dad, I don't want to get a job. I don't want to do anything. I just want to go into my metaverse. I want to get a job in there. And just stay in my room. And just with the VR glasses and like everything. Like player one. Yeah. Oh yeah. And she, all day she's just like, like this. <laughs> and you have to feed her. Because she needs nutrition. But she's like inside the metaverse. Okay. What? what how would you feel? Would you… This is a very apply- specific and <laughs> yeah, no, extreme no, example. No, you said, you said. <laughs> would you apply the same… Uh, you know, same rules ethics. to yourself. Ethics. Like, oh, okay. I know how to answer this question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I've mentioned it multiple times in like interviews. But since like… Since Haru was born. Right. I've always been interested in the future and stuff. But mm. I've been more interested in like technology and where I imagine we may be like 10, 20 years from now. Oh, okay, okay. Right? Because yeah. me preparing for tomorrow is not going to help my kid. Right. I have to prepare for like 10 years later, 20 years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And also have to stay like in tune with all the trends that I imagine will be happening. Okay. Right? So… I think it's important for parents to imagine uh, the future that their kids are going to live in. uh, And to study about it. To learn about it. To read about it. And maybe to invest in it even. Mm. And then uh, once you do that, you are more aware of this future that may happen. Mm. So you can prepare your kid um, so that they're not totally that extreme. Right? right. But if, if for example, like let's say in your example, <laughs> like she's she's got this thing on and she 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 wants to make money in the metaverse. Like is she making money? Yes, then okay, first of all, that's good. But she's supporting herself in some way. Mm-hmm. Is she having fun would be very important, right? But if she's mm-hmm. like she's like just Well, like, she's trying to make money. Like obviously when by she's 20, by the time she's 20, obviously the whole metaverse thing will start, still be still developing. It's not going to be like super stable. And just like how when we started music, our parents thought of it as like, oh, that's such a risky job. You're going to feel the same way about how to… with the thing. Well, <laughs> dad, look at me with all the NFTs and <laughs> all the tokens. I mean, if she's having fun and doing well, that's fine. If she's like happy doing it. But if… Like your example, she's like not moving and I have to <laughs> inject food, <laughs> with, <laughs> food liquid into her with, with like a syringe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think there's a problem. But okay, I would gotcha, have, gotcha. I would have done everything possible to not get to that stage. Gotcha, gotcha. Right? Okay. I would have been like, hey, if you're interested in that space, why don't you work for a company that creates that space? Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Why don't right. you start a new company that… Uh, that is about safety in that space or about mental health yeah, in, in that, that space, space. right? Mm. So all these new different things could happen uh, and I could, you know, suggest to her or be with her for the ride so that she doesn't do it in a, in a negative way. Right, mm. right, right, right. But right, right. we can't block the future. 
Right, right. right. right? It's going to happen. coming no matter yeah. what. Mm. Yeah. And calculus is not the way. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's like Back to calculus. <laughs> playing the clarinet like a monster, yeah. like a beast, yeah. is not the way. Because I can find like at least 100,000 people that can play clarinet as, as well as you do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm saying there, there's, there's going to be different ways to be successful. And I'm certain that getting straight A's is not mm. the only way. Right, so right, yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like just to put things into perspective. Something my members always say to me. Like both of them dropped out of college. Right? Mm. Two cuts went for like a week. Yeah. <laughs> Mithra went for like one day. And he was like… <laughs> Just the orientation. He's like, fuck school. <laughs> right? So they both quit. And so something that they always say to me… Like throughout the years… Mm-hmm. They're like… Man, you got it. You went to like Stanford. You got a master's just to end up making the same as me. <laughs> <laughs> well. Right? And they will say stuff like this like every once in a while. Right? <laughs> and… And that's that's the way it is. It's like if you if you are like into creative things and if you're into different things, uh, you're like my degree is not making me make more than them at a concert, right? Right, right. right. Uh, so yeah, it's it's it levels everything out. <laughs> <laughs> they but say it like I'm once sure. a month. <laughs> just to remind yeah, you. Just like, to remind you. We'll be having a drink, for example, and they'll be like, ah, you got a master's and everything. Just to, just to have poor me soju. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. So, yeah. Let's thank this episode's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an alternative option to in-person counseling. It's a way to get help all from the comfort of your own home. You can do it anywhere as long as you have a connection via computer or phone. Within just 48 hours of registering, you can match with a professional to speak about your issues. There are so many different counselors that specialize to suit your specific needs, whether it is anxiety, stress, or depression. There's a whole list you can check out on their website. And there are also opportunities for financial aid for those qualified. I really encourage people who need help to seek it out. And I like that services such as BetterHelp are there to help make that process more accessible. Talking things out in a safe environment with a professional can really make a difference. If you feel you need someone to help navigate your mental health, I suggest checking out BetterHelp as a potential option. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com getreal10. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that is betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash getreal10. Well, we're about midway through the podcast, so let's take a quick breather. Right. Today, we're answering dumb questions people asked online that were that they were too afraid to ask their peers. Let's see if we can help. I feel like Ashley should I feel like it. Ashley should. Yeah. She hasn't said Ashley, this what's podcast. going on with you? Don't be like that, <laughs> Ashley. Don't be like that, Ashley. <laughs> I think she started thinking about her past. <laughs> and, and it hit her. Like you, you, you deep dived into it. No, intelligent people intimidate me. So No, like you're intelligent. Like… Y- BC calculus. <laughs> you are clearly intelligent. If yeah. calculus is your measure of No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. School's nothing. <laughs> drop out. Drop out. Quit. Drop out everyone. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> okay, I'll read the first one. How to get rid of a crush that's ruining my mentality. Girl I like is two years older in high school. I think I have a very slim chance of ever being with her. But seeing her brightens my day. And when I don't, I'm super depressed. When she talks to me, I feel very elated and it motivates me to do better. She just went on vacation for a week and won't be at school. And I feel so empty inside. Please help. I can't find anyone else who has the same feeling to have a crush on either. You're going to find like… Five more girls in the future that make you Yo. feel like this. Maybe in the, in the next five years. Yeah. yeah. Five. 
Maybe even within the next year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe already. Yeah. After having yeah, set this in, <laughs> they are ready. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had a crush like this? Not to this extent. What the one week mm. away, mm. and she's going crazy. Yeah. Like uh, he's going crazy. Thing. I mean, have you? Yeah, we're you like, have. That silence answer everything. <laughs> <laughs> Where like if you don't see them for one week, you go like your whole world is like crushed. Well, not crushed. Maybe like just <laughs> fall apart a little bit. Maybe like crumb. Yeah, just <laughs> crumbling. Like a little, a little crumb. crumb a little. <laughs> <laughs> but did yeah. you get over it? You got over it. Yeah, of course. Always another person comes along. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's probably in junior high school. Yeah, yeah this sure. this happens when we were young. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I remember having a crush like this. But. All all day you're just thinking about thinking about the person, mm-hmm. and you're waiting for the break, like the class to end. So mm-hmm. in the hallway you can see them. Yeah. For like a couple seconds. And like loiter just like around. Walk by and you're happy. <laughs> well, you just say hi. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Man. Or you wait for that lunch time mm-hmm. so you can like eat lunch with them. Yeah. It's like a scene from Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't just don't on. be too dependent on other people. Yeah. And I know it feels like. It's the end of the world at that age, but mm. you'll move on. Yeah, if you like, a, like if you like a sambe, right? Like the girl's two years older. Yeah, yeah, two years. So you, they're gonna graduate. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. leave. <laughs> but I gotta gone. say, it's slim chances. <laughs> <laughs> slim chances. Slim. Mm. Tablo, you wanna? Uh, yeah. Is it weird to pretend to be more introverted and shy than I actually am? Just so that I don't have to talk to people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that makes you introverted, right? Yeah. <laughs> like you're yeah. antisocial kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, but I, I know what this is. I don't do that. I've never acted sh- like shy or mm. what I'm not. But mm. I do wish sometimes like actually all the time that like I don't have to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> I like it and hate it at the same time. Right. Right, right, yeah. right, right. You don't like small talk? Like I don't like… I, 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 I think inside… Deep inside somewhere… I like just like… Being completely alone. Mm. And like… Just mm. not going out. But… Mm. But at the same time… I like human beings. Right? So <laughs> when I see like… Mm. People… Uh, I like these people. But… Uh, like… Yeah, sometimes just just having to be like a human in society is like <laughs> mm. is something that makes me not want to wake up. <laughs> okay, okay, this sounds really <laughs> dumb. so dark. Okay, sorry, sorry. Oh uh, my no, God. No, no. That no. Just took a really dark no, turn. No. I get it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I get it. Though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Sometimes, you, do you guys ever do this? You do this, right? What? You're in your car or something. Mm-hmm. And you put on your AirPods or your headphones, even though you're not listening to anything, so that the other people in the car, like the taxi you. driver, is especially the taxi driver, like like a car that you're driving. No, a car that you're no. in with, like you know, maybe like your manager or like yeah, your members. Because I do that, like with your my members. members even. <laughs> I get in the car and like I just have I just put them on, and I have any, anything on, and I'm just sitting there, and that way. Two cuts doesn't talk to me. <laughs> and <laughs> I've pretended to be asleep before. That's worse. Oh, what? That's so that crazy. they don't talk to you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, don't, I just didn't feel like talking, so I just pretended <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> Yo, I recommend <laughs> AirPods. <laughs> because you were just. Did you eventually fall asleep though? No. Oh man. But that's very <laughs> inefficient though. You can't do anything. Like, that's true. You have to commit to that yeah. action. Yeah. yeah, it's just too much. Yeah. Now I know. You get AirPods. like a text and you're like, oh. <laughs> 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 have you ever wanted to become a scuba diver? No? Me neither. But hop on over to our Patreon and become a diver to receive exclusive benefits like early and ad-free access to audio episodes, monthly live streams with the founders of Dive Studios, and so much more. These episodes are made possible by our divers, so thank you for keeping us going. Join us at patreon.com backslash dive studios. Thank you. All right, well. 
Let's uh, read some comments on Instagram that the fans left about okay. intelligence. Uh, your your intelligence means nothing if you have a snobby attitude about it. Mm. True. Mm. Yeah. Word. Yeah, you know people that are like, "Oh my god, you don't even know that? Oh, I thought you knew that." Oh like, my god. <laughs> oh my god. I just yeah. Trauma. Who, who is it? Uh, yeah, who is it? What, what's her oh name? <laughs> Yeah. There's so many people oh, like that so in high school. Yeah. There's so many people like that, like even like no, even adults. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. they just keep like teaching you stuff mm. when you oh. didn't like ask. That's a conde. I, right I don't there. think that's yeah. truly intelligent person because I feel like intelligent people would be <clears throat> more to themselves and they wouldn't like be like trying to prove that they're actually intelligent. I think just like mediocre people that's are more like, the... yo, I'm intelligent, but they're actually not. Yeah. It's just a know-it-all. Can I get, ask you guys a question? Uh. Okay, like… Is this… What about this? Like… Is this sort of… Uh, what you're talking about or like… Konde? What do you mean? Okay, so like Mithra, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I already feel like… You start with a name. name. That's the, <laughs> I already feel like… <laughs> right the the no, I really just want to know. <laughs> is that the end of your story? Just Mithra. Like, <laughs> 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 like, Mithra. Like, yes. A lot of the conversations with Mithra is like… <clears throat> I'll be like… You know, I'll, I'll just make small talk, right? Like we meet after the weekend. And I'm like, what did you do this weekend? And he's like, I went camping. Mm-hmm. And then for 30 minutes, <laughs> he teaches me about all the intricate… Like the art of camping. Like the supplies you can use. Like what chair is good. And he's just going on and on. And I'm like… And then, and, and then like… And then cooking will come up. And he'll talk about like… How great of a cook he is for like mm-hmm. 20 minutes when I did not care. Right? <laughs> and is that like is he But does he does he do that with topics that he's not passionate about either? Uh like, he so after he tells me about the camping and the cooking, yeah. like he'll be like, because like I, you know, this camping I like I know this <laughs> to me, right? And I'm like. But I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was this like after like… He's like one time… Like he, he went camping like once and he was like this or like… Quite possible. But like… <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's like… He's trying to like flex on me that he knows camping more than I do. Mm-hmm. When I didn't… Uh, I don't camp. And I, <laughs> I, I didn't ask. Right, right? right? Does that make him like sort of like… No. I don't think that's Konde. That's just TMT. Too much talk. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Too much talk. Okay. Yeah. 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 I feel like Konde is more like… A old, usually older person or, or a more experienced person. Yeah. That's like trying to teach or Like when educate. I was your yeah, age. Yeah, like that's like… But in yeah. a Let's condescending way. Or something. you went camping. And he's like, no, no, no. That's not how you camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah, is how yeah, you're yeah, supposed yeah, to camp. Yeah. Oh, he did that one <laughs> still. So he is a Konde. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I got like a Patagonia fleece. Uh-huh. Because it was like cold. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. Patagonia Hana. I was just wearing it. Yeah. And he's like, oof. <laughs> <laughs> Patagonia. <laughs> right? Like says the brand name to me. And I'm like, yep. And he's like, oh, you got that one. And I'm like, and, he, and then he tells me like this other brand that's like even better. Uh. And I'm like, what the f- <laughs> what is this weird flex? <laughs> I'm wearing the wrong fleece. <laughs> but you're too nice to say anything, right? You just no, no. Like- I just, yeah, I just ignore it because if I say anything, it'll go on. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Go on just and like, on. Mm, mm. So I stop right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, were you ever scared to show off how smart you were in class because kids would think you're a teacher's pet? I was never actually? at that level. So, <laughs> were you the guy that was like, teacher's pet? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, dumbass. <dumb> <laughs> no, I was. I was the kid that was just like sleeping in the back. <laughs> nice. I think I was very. Just thinking about this now, I think I was just such an insecure child because that depended on who I was with. Like, let's say it was for. I was at a summer camp or it was at after school and I was with people who I thought were like kind of cool or like, you know, they were popular. I wouldn't. 
mm. ever volunteer. Mm. I'd just be like, like, what is she saying? But then at school, if I was around like yeah. the smart kids, yeah. then I would be like, I would try to mm. volunteer and like mm. get the teacher's attention. Right. But that's just so sad thinking about it now. I, like I, a little bird inside my heart died. <laughs> <laughs> like, just when you said it, <laughs> it is kind of sad. It is. But I think it's something that, like, whether or not we admit it, we all kind of do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even now, if you think about it, like, if I'm in a room of, like, sometimes I'll find myself in a room of rappers. Mm-hmm. Right, like young rappers, and we'll be like they'll be listening to something, and they're just hype as, f- mm-hmm. <laughs> right? And I'm like, I'm I'm just too old, right? I'm like, what's going on? Right? <laughs> I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like say you know, like wise things there. Yeah. You know, I'll just be like pretending to enjoy it. <laughs> But like, you know, so it's it's just you're reading the room kind of. And that's, I think that's natural. It's not that, you know, it's just normal for people to do. Yeah. I mean, like when you're younger, you're still trying to figure yourself out. And you're kind of just like lost. So I think you're more prone to do you that. Like crave acceptance. Mm-hmm. Are you better now? Yeah. Okay. I hate when people smart shame you. As in they ask you a question and you don't know the answer. So they just respond rudely with something like, what the heck? I thought you were smart. Oh. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> yeah, smart shaming. I think worse is like, it's like when you're, in, I don't know, it's like, yo, what's what's times the, and you're like, huh? And they're like, wait, oh, yeah, I thought you were, I thought you were good at math, because <laughs> you're <laughs> Asian. <laughs> 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 <Right>? <laughs> I think it's much worse when they're just flat out racist. <laughs> You've never had that done to you. I've had that done to oh, me yeah. in Vancouver. Uh, no, it, it's like, not even like, oh, I thought you were good at math. It's like, hey, what's that? It's like, what's like this time this? And you're like, oh, I don't know. And they're like, I thought you were Asian. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not, I thought you were good at math because you were Asian. It's just, I thought you were Asian. It's like, what does that mean? Yeah. I think, yeah, racism is pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would agree with you. I mean, smart shaming is bad, but racism is much, it's far worse. Yeah, yeah. It's a bigger problem. Smart shaming. Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like we kind of had that kind of a uh, little bit of pressure just because we're Asian. We had to be smart or we mm-hmm. had to appear smart. Like we had to come, kind of live up to people's expectations. You know what I mean? I, I think I had I had that. True. Back in, living in the States. And I think in reverse too. Like I think some people, because they're Asian and they, they don't like being perceived as like a nerd or smart, mm. they will deliberately oh. act like they're not smart. Oh, or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, sort of like hard. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm-hmm. But… And then you discover they're like intelligent as hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a few friends yeah, like that. Too. Yeah, me too. Me too, yeah, me too. like untapped like gift you know yeah like some some kids are just like they dropped out of school and they're like just uh you know sort of getting in trouble and stuff and then you talk to them and then you realize they're just smart as f- yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> no no <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> you know you're just they're like laying brick <laughs> with their buddy <laughs> and you just assume that you know they're getting to fights and stuff. Yeah. Mm. You know, and yeah. going to bars, yeah. like Harvard bars. <laughs> yeah. But you realize they're actually geniuses. Yeah. They have photographic memory. They could work at the NSA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can tell who watched Good <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it. I did watch it. That was a long time ago. But I was a- just assuming that <laughs> it's a good movie. Is that the one with like, um, you see this apple or whatever? Oh yeah, I still don't get that. What the yeah, hell does that yeah, mean? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I still don't get that joke. Yeah. Maybe it's like a Boston thing? No, it wasn't. Are or, you from Boston? Well, I, I went to Boston College. So oh, so I was you're there from, from four, oh. four years. So it's not a Boston thing? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I thought you were smart. <laughs> <laughs> Just got smart shames. Did you know that Dive Studios has a Discord server? Join now and meet new friends, submit questions to the podcast, you can talk to the Dive members, including myself, and get exclusive access to events and giveaways. 
So go to bit.ly backslash join dive discord to join. We'll be waiting. Uh, okay, so it's time to wrap up. Uh, we've had a very interesting discussion about intelligence and smart shaming and being racist. And <laughs> Racism, no. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, uh, thank you Tablo for coming out. No problem. Um, and if you, you guys… Thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you. I hear that you guys have the number one podcast. Um, not only on Dive Network. But by like Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, what? Really? <laughs> is no. that, first is that true? Is that uh, true? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if no one knows… <laughs> then alright, we'll take the title. <laughs> you know, like… <laughs> take it. Yeah, but, we'll uh, take it. But I, yeah, I hope you guys like just keep killing it. Yeah. Uh, invite me back anytime. Oh, feel free to come yeah, back. Like, yeah, yeah. I pl- plug everything that you need to, you know. Well, we have a song out. Mm-hmm. Out now. Uh, so out now. go check out Epikai's Face ID. Face Wait, ID. Is it Face ID? Like what is that song about? Face ID? It's, yeah. Sort of. Oh. Uh-oh. I actually just switched to um, Face ID. I used to have the home button up till like last week. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Oh, the SE2 had a home button though. That what came up. phone were you using? iPhone. SE2. But since… No, but it came out after the 11, but before the 12. So, oh, but it had a home button on it, it for a long time. Mm. Yeah, like two years, like a year and a half, two years. Mm. Mm-hmm. But then I switched to Face ID, and that's annoying during Corona. I know. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, that's I, yeah. well. This song's sort of about like you know, like how we've all had to be behind masks for like two years. Mm. So it's like it's difficult for us to like re you know find our face again. Oh. And. It's sort of… You know a lot of people like… Have been living behind masks… Anonymously attacking other people… Yeah. Just mm. being haters… Yeah. And it's sort of like… Just talking about that. It's, it's a fun song. So… Okay. Okay. Uh, check it out. Come to our uh, North America tour. Yes. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And hopefully everyone will be touring yeah. again. Are the tickets okay. selling right now? Is it, uh, is it on sale? Yeah. Tickets are on sale. Uh, by the time this… Airs. I don't know how many cities will still it's have tickets. It's all sold out. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. It's like, too late man. It's, yeah you, you guys are out. too late. You guys are <laughs> always <laughs> too late. <laughs> <laughs> what haven't you missed? Last minute guys. <laughs> I will do everything possible to open up a little bit more. For you late people. <laughs> Well, yeah. Thank you again for coming on. Uh, we It was a pleasure to have you. If you guys want to watch the full video on YouTube for free, it's going to be on youtube.com slash divepods. And once again, follow and review this podcast. Thank you. Thank you, Peniel, Ashley, and Pablo, and Diane. Thank you for having me. Thank everyone. you for making such amazing music. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you really are a big fan, huh? <laughs> Hey guys, did you enjoy this video? Make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. So you don't miss another video.